A very pleasant morning to one and all present here. I am Sarvanan Suresh and I thank the management and the organizers of TEDx, Chennai Institute of Technology, for having me here. To say about me and to begin with my story, I come from a very humble family background. My parents are the first generation graduates in our whole family. So, in order to overcome the harsh realities of life, the only tool or the idea which they relied upon is education. Right from my engage, they instilled the value and the essence of education in my mind. Just by abiding to the advice, I excelled in both academics as well as extracurricular activities right from my both school and college days. And I could still remember my first stage experience. It was for oratorical competition during my school days. My mom she trained me for almost a month, but as soon as I boarded the stage and when I saw the huge crowd, I became nervous. I started to stammer. There was a huge round of laughter and mockery at me. Just like any other typical Indian family, my mom, she broke the broomstick in our home. And it was the same kid later who went on to become as a state level oratorical speaker national level oratorical speaker, awards from Tokyo to Singapore, Tokyo to Japan, Inspire Award from the Government of India, greetings from the Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu, also a title called Silver Tongued Orator. And today, I am a resource person to a number of engineering colleges, schools, organization and NGOs. Finally, I have landed myself in TEDx. Just a few weeks back, my school invited me as a chief guest that I'd spent nearly 14 years of my life as a student. And I was also invited as a keynote speaker for the industrial conclave that was organized by my college to assess and guide my juniors on the industrial lines. I think it was around the second year of my college when I was 19 years old. Me and my dad, we kickstarted with a plan of bringing up our own industry. Today, at the age of 24 years, we have more than 50 plus employees who are working together as an organization with a greater dean, with a greater focus, and to achieve the future. And me taking inspiration from Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, I too have a dream. A dream which doesn't personalize with my personal development or the growth of my family, but it also visualizes a vision and a dream for my country. And today's event too, it revolves around a beautiful theme called Envisioning Inclusion. I would call this theme as an ideology as well because such an inclusion is possible if and only if we are able to exclude all our differences like caste, religion, language, creed, statehood, come and work together with a single point of focus under one common roof called India and Indians. For a person like me, I firmly believe that personal development is the basis of nation development. And a country like us, which has a population of 139 crores, where more than 65% of the population is still below 35 years. We have enormous youth potential, which when triggered and directed in the right way, will be able to do miracles to the human society. And even we can dream of achieving an inclusive global citizen target. Everyone here, you want to be successful, right? You, me, everyone. And obviously, we can be successful if we are trying to be a better person today than yesterday. Even if it's going to be a single small extra step towards your career, goal, vision, and ambition is still a wonderful, beautiful progress. I too agree that life is a competition. You and me are in competition, but at present, we are in competition not with one another. We are in competition with our past to make sure that our future is bright and better. Winning or losing, that's secondary. But trying is always mandatory. Personally, I have met and I have seen a lot of people. They complain about the availability of resources for them to succeed. Friends, two things. Resources, opportunities, they differ from person to person. I, 
might have better resources and opportunities than you and there is someone else having even better resources and opportunities than me. So in the end, we all will be just complaining. So it's better to start right from zero and build something out of scratch instead of just complaining and comparing. To be frank, the real measure of success, it comes into picture of how well a person is able to grow and scale up in his life with the available amount of resources that is within his scope. Whenever I go to public event, all my friends, my teachers, my professors, they congratulate me for being a successful person. But I have tasted a lot of failures and then landed with just an ounce of success. So here is my rule number one. Success stories will motivate you, but only failure stories can guide you. Everyone here agrees to the concept that life is short, right? So we have two options. One is enjoying your life to the fullest or second option is creating something and making an impact in the society enjoying life it comes under entertainment and creating something and making an impact it comes under education so why don't we just combine both and land at a concept called entertainment what if every one of us are able to have a friend circle who are 15 to 20 years elder to us just by interacting with them we get to know a lot of their experience their uh, career mistakes, their path, their vision for their company and the future. If we are able to understand from their mistakes and we are, if we are going to implement the same to make sure that we don't do, don't do the same mistakes in our business or in a professional career, obviously we can succeed. Life is short, guys. We cannot take a trial and error method uh, by just trying and understanding everything from our own mistakes. We don't have that much time. So the best way possible is to understand the mistakes of others and make sure that you don't commit it in your own life. On a personal note, most of my friend circle consists of my teachers, mentors, professors and business leaders. Just by interacting with them, I get to know a lot of things on each and every day. This interaction is what it leads to knowledge and this knowledge over a point of time, it leads to mastery over the subject. Elon Musk everyone is aware of him right a great business icon he clearly said he doesn't have an aerospace degree but he interacts with a lot of smart people who is way more experienced who is way more knowledgeable than him through which he is able to build up and realize his dream of coming up with SpaceX so here goes my rule number two always choose the right set of people with whom you'll be able to vibe with just a few days back I was on a business trip from Chennai to Hyderabad. It was an urgent trip. I couldn't get my flight tickets. So I needed to travel in my car. It was a late night trip. Since I was almost drained off, I was falling asleep every now and then. My driver and I just dropped the car in the midway and he requested me to shift to the back seat. When asked for the reason, he says that he's getting distracted and he too feels asleep. And that's perfectly all, all right because even humans are just social beings and we will be attracted towards socially modulated responses. If you are going to put yourself in a crowd which is energetic, which is, which is uh, brisk, with a career oriented, vision oriented people, obviously along with them, you will be able to see yourself in a better position over a point of time. And it's exactly the other way around. If you are going to mingle with the people who are lazy, lethargic, more into fun, entertainment, no career plans or vision, your growth or your professional career will be stunted. As simple as that. To build a mission, you need the right sort of tools, right? So similarly, to build an organization or a startup or a business plan, we need the right sort of people. And Dan Penny, American businessman, he clearly stated, show me your friends and I'll show you your future. It's exactly what it is. If you're going to choose the right sort of friends, the right sort of people in your life, your success is almost guaranteed. And the third most important rule, or the final part, what I want to insist is an idea will always just remain as an idea unless and until we take the first step towards it. Most of the uh, youngsters in India, they have ultimate potential and creative business ideas, but they are not able to become a successful personality the reason is that something is preventing them called fear of failure. Life is full of ups and downs. And obviously, it's okay to fail. 
as long as failure is not the end it's perfectly okay to fail success it can be achieved by instant efforts but success can be achieved only through consistent efforts personally i could categorize people into three types one those with the business ideas two those with business ideas and strategies three those with business ideas strategies and implementation and it is the third set of people who have proper ideas strategies along with the correct implementation they emerge as successful personalities they are able to bring a change in the society and when i just use this word change everyone is attracted towards this right we need a change in our life change in our career change in the nation change in the mankind everyone is kind of motivated by a single word called change because change is important and it's consistent too and such a change can be brought up on a wider scale with a greater scope if we are going to be a part of two peaceful yet powerful professions one as politics second is governance if youngsters like you and me who has a vision for the nation who has more development ideas if we are going to be a part of the system obviously we will be able to make a greater change in the society and make our nation economic superpower in the near future let it be lawyers doctors engineers scientists army men any profession if we are going to work with a nationalistic view the rest and the glory of our nation is already assured so as already said and as already known youngsters are the future pillars of india let's all join hands to create a future history of india the best way possible thank you